everyone, this is Dane. Welcome back to the channel, Filipino Nurse with Tars Home. I hope everybody is doing great. Thank you for all your comments, your undying support, sharing the videos to other people. Without you, I will not be here. Otherwise, guys, I'm in the United States of America right now, but hoping that we can retire soon. Maybe in a month time. I'm counting the days. So guys, this is going to be another weird topic, you know, always trying to find something to keep you company. Today, the topic is using public restroom in the Philippines can be a comfort or it can be a nightmare. Well, guys, if you have traveled to any third world countries or developing world, away from your western comfort you probably know what i'm trying to say because at one point maybe you have experienced what i have also experienced but there's a lot of people who has not experienced traveling yet to another country so i'm gonna tell you that it can be a comfort or it can be a nightmare it can be a very embarrassing experience on your part if you are not going to listen to me okay guys that's why I feel the uh, need to tell you this although it is a very touchy subject but somebody has to do the job and I feel like I am going to be the one all right guys it doesn't mean that we do not have any bathroom in the Philippines we have good bathrooms in the Philippines we're blessed with a lot of bathrooms but it depends on what kind of bathroom you have now in the Philippines we have nice bathrooms in par with what you have in the Western world we have modest bathrooms and we have also the dirtiest bathrooms as well as bathrooms like outhouse obsolete ones that it requires for you to get on top of that little house right there and then they just dig a hole and they have floor and then you're gonna squat okay so it needs a lot of energy to do something like that now there's nothing wrong about that it's really the cleanliness of the bathroom that you're gonna use and the availability of a bathroom when you really need to do your thing to relieve your distress now there's not a lot of people who's going to talk about this because it is embarrassing and it can be very traumatic also what kind of experience you have because some people would really be traumatized with this and will never go back to the philippines because of these experiences they had with the bathrooms okay 20 years ago you cannot even find a lot of toilets in the philippines toilet papers and running water were issues but this time it is much better world honestly now um regarding trauma that you have it all depends on your experience actually and you want to get rid of that from your subconscious mind sometimes because it's so bad now for those people who has left the united states or maybe from the west and going to the developing worlds or third worlds you probably experienced that once in your lifetime there and you know what I'm talking about but this is for the sake of people who has not uh, who has not been to the to the other world I'm gonna give you tips in this um, channel I'm gonna give you tips okay so that you can reduce your stress now we have bathrooms in the Philippines they call it comfort rooms maybe toilet in the layman's term but anyway we have available bathrooms it can be available in malls we get running water there and they provide for uh, like a running water as well as toilet paper we have that um, in restaurants we have that in uh, filling stations and any of the small um, businesses sometimes you can have bathrooms okay but not in the palenque sky do not use the restaurant restroom like public restroom in the palenque that's not a good thing all right guys now um i'm gonna give you tips to reduce your experiences to be a bad one okay which we have to start from 
um, where you come from when you pack your carry-on bags starting in the plane okay now in that carry-on bag you have to have toilet papers because some of the airports do not have toilet paper sometimes they run out of that but most of the time now in the Philippines we got toilet papers thanks goodness because about 40 years ago or maybe 20 years ago sometimes they run out of that toilet paper thanks goodness that I always have toilet paper because all bad experiences before now you might need some wet ones which is like a um, towel wet towels okay disposable ones and another one that you might want to have is a little bit bar of soap just yes, when you wash your hands you have something like a bar of soap now another one is you might have to have a pair of underwear just in case you're gonna have accident all right guys now there's some things that you really um, you don't want to have before you go for a travel this is applicable on a plane ride or traveling around the philippines okay like commuting from one place to another now those things you don't want to do number one don't eat a lot of leafy vegetable which is high roughage because it would make you go it really will make you go anytime maybe twice or thrice after you eat them number two avoid using laxative or bulk forming laxative like metamucil or anything that would help your bowels okay guys i tell you correction please i'm not really that bowel fixated yet because i know i'm retiring but this is just a reminder so that you will not you will not be sorry okay you might say my god she is really a retiree because she's so bowel fixated i'm not really that bowel fixated yet okay from time to time i am but with regards to preparation yes i am fixated now another thing that you need to do okay hold off on those diuretics if you can but if the diuretic is for your blood pressure then you just have to take the risk of using the restroom all the time because you're gonna pee a lot okay um another thing that you have to probably have to have number one also that you need to have anti-diarrheal if in case you would have to go several times but be careful with that anti-diarrheal or like example Lumoto at least you know you have to give your bowels a chance to to get rid of the toxins that's causing you to uh, have diarrhea all right so be careful of those guys now during the travel you have this is kind of funny during during traveling like from one place to another in the Philippines especially if you're gonna go commuting away from the city where the bathrooms is not available and all you have is acres and acres of rainforest okay be ready to utilize the beauty of the nature do not be that modest anymore stay away from that because you're gonna be you're gonna have a bad accident okay i rather would be using behind the bushes rather than have an accident honest guys because some of my american friends one time would say oh my god i do not want to do that that's against the law actually you are doing good for the environment okay because those are uh, biodegradable what you have there and besides you know very rich uh, rich for for fertilizer it's good for the plants so you know you might have also in your uh, pocketbook you might need to get you a little shovel if in case you really need to that's just because you need to cover it up right so sometimes without that paper towel guys i'll tell you what i do not know what you need to do to wash yourself or to clean yourself so that's why i said get you a paper towel if not you're gonna have to use the leaves or maybe leaves or whatever coconut maybe coconut husk you're gonna be forced to do that to clean yourself now uh, 
Sometimes you can even knock at the door on somebody if you own your car. You know, you can just knock on somebody's door and use the restroom. But prepare, guys. Prepare to see the, the thing that you don't want to see. Now, I experienced this myself personally. I use somebody's restroom. I was asking to use behind the bushes if it can just be. But I was so, um, how do you call it, happy that I have toilet paper as well as I have my uh, wet ones. So they basically, those two girls, told me to use the restroom. I said, okay, I'm going to use your restroom. I said, um, I was expecting a nice restroom. I mean, clean restroom. When I went there, they have a something like four posts four posts and then covered with a tarp with an advertising that time an advertising and they just covered that and they have a small door and i went there and they have this a concrete made uh a concrete i think they have a septic tank somewhere and it's a you pour water after you get finished but anyway one thing what happened is I, I did my thing. I'm not going to tell you what it is. But anyway, it's, if it's a one or a two. But after I got finished, man, I'll tell you what. I wanted to get up and I cannot get up because I have to squat. So I said, I'm trying to my best. I said, my God, I already cleaned myself and I still cannot get up. What am I going to do? Because there's nothing that would hold my weight there. Because if I'm going to hold on the wall, everything would fall down and I have not even put my underwear yet because there's no way when you squat you cannot put your underwear so my god I said it took me about maybe just trying to think maybe about 10 minutes but finally I was able to get up but it was so damn hard so the two girls were embarrassed after I got finished because um, they were waiting for me outside. They were wondering what happened to me. But anyway, I got out of there alive, okay? The place was clean, but the only problem is how in the world I can get up. And anyway, one time I used another person's bathroom, the same scenario, four posts and then a tarp. And that time I had diarrhea. Oh my gosh. I went back and forth, back and forth there because I cannot get rid of my diarrhea. Every time I would step out and then I would do it again. I had finished, I probably consumed one drum of water just to clean up their commode. Oh man, have mercy. It's, it can be very embarrassing situation in the Philippines, but sometimes it's the real thing. It's the real world. It can happen to you and you just make do what they have. And don't say anything you just have to be very grateful that they even let you use the restroom but most of the time in the city i don't have problem because if i have to use the restroom i can just pull over in one of those filling stations or fast food then i have a clean bathroom but anyway guys this is something that probably somebody has experienced already but anyway i hope you're gonna have a good time in the philippines um just be prepared because um, things can happen to you especially with the uh, experience that i just talked about so good day guys and may you have a good weekend weekend sorry thursday so it's about weekends approaching and that's it bye bye